My name is Gary Maselli from Copley Soccer, and this is Ohio Sportsnet. Hi, I'm Amir Mubarak from Copley Soccer, and you're watching Ohio Sportsnet.
in six years so to, to win this to win suburban league was pretty big for us seniors especially you know we haven't beat Revere I've never beat Revere ever except for today so it's a pretty great feeling how so, bad did you want it really really bad um, I didn't talk to anyone in school today so. why is that uh, I just wanted to be focused I I felt in the past years I played a huge role in not letting our team win so I felt I needed to step up this year as a senior captain very, very big. We've been waiting for this one since last year. Why is it? Big rivalry. Very, very big rivalry. And uh, for us seniors, they've beaten us every year except for this one. So just a great experience to be part of. Very great. Obviously, 4-1 against Revere is just huge. I mean, this is, this is the only game really that mattered coming this season. Like last season, we are like, all right, all right, what's the one game we care about? And that was Revere. And so okay. all, our, all our practice the last nine months has been coming toward this game. We're, so happy to result. Um, you saw the player, or the, the, the fans in the crowd, and, and the students, and the parents, and the community members. Um, to me, it's a culmination of a lot of games that we thought we had a chance to be in against them, and they got the upper hand, and obviously won the game because they deserved to win the game. So for me, and for everybody on the team, and in the stands, it's for them. Okay. You know, they've wanted it for us, you know, teaching fifth grade and Copley Farrell in middle school and, you know, every kid asking me, did we move up in the rankings? You know, when do you play Revere? Are you going to, are you going to beat Revere and all those things? And, you know, when I get to go to school tomorrow and I get to see little 10 year old kids um, and 14 year old eighth graders that I coach, you know, yeah. say, congratulations, you know, I can, you know, for us, we can look back at this and say, so far, so good in what we've done. Okay. I'm, just, I'm excited for every game, but like, I mean. I get a little like butterflies, but it's just an in, in anticipation of going out there and playing okay. a good team. What kind of statement have you guys sent this season? You know, beating Ignatius on the road, beating Revere on the road. Um, I think we're not the same team as last year the, and years before. We're a different team. We're closer with each other. We're all each other's brothers. We love each other, and we're always looking out for one another. That carries on in the field as well, and we just we just love each other so much that we we want everything for one another, one another. So. Excitement, tons of excitement. It's it's unbelievable. The, the the team this year is so much more of a family and a unit than it's been, and it's it's so great. It feels so amazing. 
that, that was a playoff game right there. And that was a playoff game against a team that should be in contention for the state championship. So there's a lot to be learned from that. We, we need to grow from the defensive standpoint. We need to learn how to prepare for that game because we'll see people do that again to us. And uh, all in all, again, fantastic opportunity at the end of the year to play a team like that. How good are you guys? I'd say we're pretty good. How good are we? We're good, but we have more to do.